Hey guys, welcome to creatingtracks.com and today we're going to take a look at scales and chords inside of Machine. So I have a drum kit loaded over here, but I'm going to select a new group, select a new pad, go into my browse and let's select an instrument. So let's navigate to sounds on the left screen and then on the right screen I'm going to navigate to instruments and then maybe keys and let's see electric keys and then we'll pick something like let's see so mark 2 classic and i'm going to hold shift and hit pad mode on my machine all right now let's hold down the pad mode by itself and on the left screen, you can see this, it says pad mode. So if it's not selected, you can select that. And that way, every time you hit pad mode once, you'll stay in that menu instead of snapping back to the browse. So we're gonna hit pad mode. And then now you can see we have scales and chord. So right now we're in chromatic scale. So we're gonna hear all the half steps inside of an octave when we play all the notes. Alright, so I just played a major and a minor scale, but if I turn this knob on the right, you can see that our notes on the right screen completely changed. So if I go back to chromatic, you can see we have C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, and they're all in order like that. But if I change it to major, now we have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Alright, and if I change this to minor, So those are all the notes in the minor scale. So we have all these different kinds of scales as well. So more like an Arabian Nights kind of scale. And then we have major pentatonic. And then there's a minor pentatonic. And then we have this really funky, cool blues scale. So those are the scales and you can keep scrolling through them. And if music theory is not your strong side, then these scales will help you record leads and other chord patterns based on whatever songs you're working on. So let's check out the chord. So if I turn this to the right, we can see harmony or harmonic, and then we have the major subcategory. And you can see that it's playing these three notes. And I could also change my type from major to minor. And then we have the sus4. And major 7 is a pretty cool one. And it's playing these four notes. Alright, very cool. So another thing we have in our chord mode is we can change it from harmony or harmonic to chord set. And chord set is a bunch of chords that are good in a chord progression or will complement each other really well. And you have eight major chord sets and eight minor chord sets. Yeah, eight minor chord sets. So major one sounds like this. So just a bunch of chords that sound really good in a progression. And then you have these octave buttons that you can change. You can raise it an octave. Or even lower it.
All right, so we have eight sets of major chords and eight sets of minor chords. And if I go to major two, we're gonna have a different set of major chords. Let me change the octave. And then similarly, we have the minor set. And then we have minor two. And we can even record this. So if I select minor five, what I can do is I can go into my software and go into my group and select an empty pattern. So pattern one in this case, and I can change this pattern length to four. And then if I hit play with record, So I can hit quantize on my machine and it's going to quantize those notes. So if I zoom out, you can even see that it's recorded chords instead of single notes. So when I hit one pad, it records a full chord. And you can see these notes light up on the left side. All right, so what I can do next is just play a beat over it and see what it sounds like. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel for a lot more videos, and definitely stay tuned. Peace!